So let's break down the seven steps that you talk about in Ready to Be a Thought Leader. Share them with us briefly. Well, I, I think the first three chapters are really about getting started. It's a, the first few steps of finding your passion. Where is it you want to play? The second is around starting to build those first ripples of change. What are the few steps that you need to take that will get you going? And, and how do you start testing those ideas? And then the third is how would, the chapter is all about how do you then build some alliances? So I call it activate your advocates. What are the people around you who could help you move that change forward? In the middle of the book, I spent a whole chapter talking about how to get out of our own way and get others out of our way, right? So much of what I learned in writing this book is that we all have little demons, or as one of my clients calls it, the itty bitty shitty committee, right? It shows up. <laughs> I love that. It's love that. very loud in our head about why we're not the one, or we're not smart enough, or we're not good enough, whatever the story is. And as I went around talking about this book last year, it was so fascinating to hear how many people from every community had, you know, there was a cultural norm that we don't do this, or there was a family norm, or there was a community norm, or my boss doesn't like it. So there's a lot of outside stuff, and then there's also the inside stuff. So the middle chapters had you get over that. And then the last three chapters are really about scale. So uh, there's a whole chapter on codifying your lessons learned. What is it you know? What is the path forward for others? What is it the, the seven steps? What are your equivalent seven steps? It may not be seven steps, but what are those, those lessons that you've learned? And then there's a chapter on what I call put yourself on shout. Get yourself out there or make yourself discoverable. Make sure people know what your niche is. And then the last chapter is about auditing, following along and seeing what change you're really bringing about. And all also, I added a whole section on how do you take care of yourself through this because this is this is a long journey. This doesn't happen overnight. And if you're not monitoring your own health and wellness and well-being, you will burn out. And I know I have and I've seen others do the same. So I, I try to work hard in this book to, to let people see that take this as a journey, not as a, a short road trip here that you're going to be all done in a week or two. This is this is prepare for the long haul and and build allies. Think about passing that baton. So that's that whole last chapter. 